Hey everyone, my name is Josh and I'm from IMI Repair and today we'll be discussing on how to change the transfer case caps in a Mazda Speed 6 transfer case. These transfer case caps are from Speed Performance, also White Widow has them at the New Age Auto, Auto Performance Parts. I'll have the uh, links in my description and the other thing is I'm switching all the seals so you have the two oil cooler seals, your side case seals, and your, dry, your half shaft, dry shaft seals. First things first, clamp this thing down to the bench somewhere so it's secure, it doesn't flop around on you. Now, this thing has been steam cleaned and degree, sorry, degreased and steam cleaned, so it's very clean. It's already been apart. So it's clean, the bolts have been loosened for the uh, video to make it a lot quicker, easier for you guys to short video basically. So first things first, 10 mil Allen key, remove your oil cooler. There's gonna be some oil come out of it, so have a rags underneath it or a bucket or some sort. You're gonna have five bolts holding your hash shaft in place. One, two, three, four, five, sorry. And this will slide right out. Next thing is, you're gonna have seven bolts on the top outside of your cover, and there's gonna be six on the back side that you're gonna to wanna to move. They're all 12 mil. Once they're removed, you have four locations to be able to pry on this thing. This thing's already been pried apart to make it quicker, but just pry up on these surfaces. Try to avoid prying any surface areas where silicone or seal it's gonna be. Machine surface basically. So this comes off. Next thing I wanna do is take a razor blade. Clean your gasket. When you clean your gasket, clean the outside so all debris falls off the case. And if you see any pieces go inside, pull them out, get them, there, get them out there as fast as you can. So you don't forget about it. Uh, remove your oil pickup, oil pickup strainer. Next thing, you got four bolts, 17 mils, holding the gears in place. These will just come, just come lift right off. Grab your shop towel, lint free. Clean all the maintenance services. Make sure there's no sand or any old grease laying around or any silicone pieces. Now these caps, they're both the same. So it doesn't matter what side you put them on. Try to center as best you can. Now, Mazda does, doesn't say put any uh, Loctite on the bolts, so if you want to, it's up to you. I like to do these by hand, that way you can make sure con confirm there's no, you won't uh, strip any threads. Now also watch when you're spinning this thing around, you don't drop your wrench into your gear set and chip a tooth. I like to snug them down and then back them off again. Wheel your cap around if you can. If you want, you get a rubber mallet, give them a little tap, and they're loose, sorry. Give them a little tap, make sure it's set in place. Slug them down again. If 
Now torque spec for this is 68.5 pounds. bit of a challenge because there's not much to hold on to here but I always double, double check Double check your torque again. So basically that's about it in this one here. You can clean up your oil pickup strainer. I cleaned mine already, so it's already done. Reinstall it. So this is it for the T case. Also you have a side seal. Next part is basically your oil strainer pickup. And give it a cl clean it out. Mine's already been clean. Reinstall it. Uh, your side side cover seal. There's an O ring right here. Pop this cover off. 110 mil. Pop it off. Take O ring out of your package. Install it. I like to give mine a quick little spray of silicone spray. Just walk it in gently. Snug her down. The only thing I like to do is also, I forgot to mention, I'll mark my bolts, a little cross hatch up and down, they're all the same. Depends on the oil inside them. So I don't uh, forget that I did them.
And that's pretty much it for the, lower, the uh, pinion side of the uh, tea case. So this one, this one's ready to go. So now this piece here. First things first, they said, take some, uh, take some rags, your little screwdriver or razor blade, scrape all the silicone off the back sides of this thing. This one's fairly clean. Next part is the back half. It's two 14 mils right here. Loose them off. Now to change the seals properly, you're gonna have to pry some things out of here. So take your screwdriver, there's a shim right here. You can see right here. Just pry back on it gently. It should lift right off. Next, you're going to remove the little back half of your T case, your center shaft out. Take something non ferrous, brass punch works wonders. Tap the center shaft out gently. So, ring clip inside. Place the shaft to the side. Next, your shim. And pull with your hands. Remove it. Move your collar out of the place. Move your outer bearing race. Hold the gear up in place, don't have to drop down. And pull your gearing pack out gently. T case is all apart now. Next thing's next, you can knock your seals. Next, you want to move your seals. You can use a bearing, uh, sorry, seal puller. Fly out. This side has two seals on it. And this one can be punched in if you want to, make it easier on yourself. Here's a punch. This one to punch out. Long punch. Or you can use your steel puller. Nope. I stress punching this one out.
a little bit to lock it out. And that's it, your seals are all out. Give your case a quick wipe if you want to give it, run it through a, a Varisol bath, it's up to you, wash it out, make sure it's clean. This one's already been cleaned out already. Also what I like to do is I like to sand the outside of my my face is with quick 600 grit stamp here. It's already been done, but I'll give you a quick little scenario here. Also, open up your case breather. This little chamber here allows it to breathe. Get some back on top here. Give us a quick clean out. So next thing on the list is to install seals. Your LN01 27514 is your inner seal. Your L1, L, LN01 27398 is your outer seal. So, I don't have a seal driver, so I'll use a punch, but be very gentle, be very careful when you put this in. 